I got new skates. So these are the Rollerblade Solo, but with Rollerblade Fusion frames. So I've been really interested in the Rollerblade Solo uh, since I got back. You know, it's one of those weird skates in the Rollerblade lineup that never really made sense to me. You know, they have a serious uh, fitness line, they have a recreational line, they have youth lines, they have an aggressive line. This is different. So the Solo is the aggressive version of this boot. And if you look at the bottom, there are little dots where the threads of a uh, screw can go. And you can screw on a sole plate. That's actually how they come. But they also sell this shell, this boot, with an aluminum frame as a fitness skate. It's a really fascinating model, you know? They have a fitness skate that's UFS, and then you get an aggressive skate that's UFS. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. The problem is that they aren't making them anymore. <laughs> so for whatever reason, they stopped production maybe two years ago. And um, I actually got these on uh, closeout uh, for 140 bucks, but really interested in them. So one of the interesting things, first of all, is it's a fitness skate that's UFS. You know, you can find a K2 skate that's UFS, or you can get a Seba SX. But really, other than that, it's very hard to find a skate that's a fitness skate um, that, you know, accommodates a UFS mount. So that means you can use UFS big wheel frames, you can use UFS aggressive frames, you can use wizard frames, you can use whatever you want, so long as it's UFS. Another great thing about this boot is that it is a flat bottom sole. So inside this boot, rather than the raised heel out of plastic that you would find in the Rollerblade New Jack or most other aggressive skates or fitness skates, this is a flat sole. So on the inside, all that you see are two frame bolts. And that's where the UFS bolts uh, screw in so that the frame stays locked onto the boot. They get around it by including an internal shock absorber. So there is a shock absorber inside this boot that raises your foot a little bit, which means that you get that forward lean that feels really good when you're skating. But it also means that you get a more comfortable ride. So instead of using plastic to give that forward lean, they use a squishy material so that when you're skating, you can feel a little bit of shock absorption on bumps. The liner is great. Um, I've heard only great things about this liner. It is uh, like a leather outside. It's got a hard rubber boot, uh, rubber sole. It's got a little bit of a, a shock absorber in the liner itself. And then the insole itself, you know, is more of a responsive insole, but it has a really thin uh, shock absorber as well. So, I mean, it's really checking off everything on the list. It's even got that 45 degree strap that I love. But they don't make them anymore. <laughs> so, I'm really curious to see what they feel like. I'm here in Raleigh, and I'm skating the... Uh, 80 millimeter compass wheels. These are some samples that I haven't skated before. I don't know how they're gonna feel. Raleigh is a very interesting city. It's, um, you know, the capital of North Carolina. It's where uh, most of the government buildings are, and it's very flat. So I'm really curious to see how these are gonna perform. I don't wanna use big, big wheels, like hundreds or hundred tens down here. I wanna use some smaller wheels, like hundreds, and see if I can skate around, do some wall rides, do stair rides, things like that. So here we go. Uh, these things feel pretty solid. The uh, so the boots are a size nine, ten and a half, I think, forty-four, and um, my foot is uh, ten point five, usually ten and a half. Uh, it's twenty-eight point five centimeters, and uh, I don't have any issues with the length. They are a little tight on the top. It feels it might be because I tied up the liners. These things are uh, super interesting. They have a a liner 
uh, with a fully laced up liner, and then you lace up the shell around the liner, which is uh, you know very reminiscent of the shadow. But of course, with the shadow, you take the liner out of the skate and you walk around. These are uh, kind of like a mix in the middle. I feel like they're fairly solid, but it's a little tight for me. And it was a lot of work. I mean, it took a lot longer to get my skates in than, uh, than I was expecting, which I don't know if that's necessary, you know? Like I get the, I get the concept of having a lace-up liner, but I don't know that I need that. There's a forward heel lead, um, which took a little getting used to. Um, I don't think I mind it much, but it's definitely more of a forward lean than I'm used to, you know, than the USD 7s that I was skating or the shadows or anything else. Um, I might get different insoles that are more flat. These have a slight heel raise to them. If I can get some flat insoles, I think I'd feel fine. Or even just take out the insoles altogether. I think that would be a better option. I adjusted the laces a little bit and uh, loosened up the 45 degree strap. Feels a lot better. Um, these 80s though, <laughs> I mean, they coast pretty good. I'm not used to skating down here, so I don't know really what to expect, but um, pretty winded. I mean, maybe I'm skating faster than I'm normally skating. Like I feel, you know, with the new camera, I feel like I'm charging as hard as I can and uh, I'm running out, of, <laughs> running out of energy pretty quickly. But um, they feel good. So far, so good. You know, uh, the wheels are holding up great. Uh, no noticeable wear or anything. And I am, you know, dragging my foot a lot because it's not lights and everything like that. But they feel pretty good. Not too high. I think that was the big difference. You know, if I'm skating hundreds, I know that I'm skating hundreds. Same with the 110s last week on the Flying Eagles. I know that I'm skating 110s. With these, it feels a lot lower, more stable. Finding so many of these uh, amazing spots, like, like this two uh, two rail set, two uh, eight stairs, but uh, everything's knobbed. It's like they have these crazy uh, like chain link <laughs> knobs on them. Uh, this is a police station, so I don't not surprised that this is knobbed. But this place must have been pretty crazy back in the '90s when uh, nobody knew any better. It's been, it's been a long time since I've just gone free skating. I have a lot to learn. Um, first of all, holding this 360 camera, a little bit of balance issue. It's kind of like I'm 
skating with a hockey stick. But uh, it's in my, the wrong hand. Maybe I just need to switch to my left hand. That might make a difference. Um, I'm taking a little bit of adjustment to get used to the forward lean. I'm going to see what I can do about that. I think the insoles will make a difference. It's only like three mil that it's pushing me forward, but it might be enough. I know that the frames are flat. I know the boot is flat. That shock absorber inside is pretty beefy, but that insole could easily be removed and replaced with something flat. And I'd probably feel a little better. Um, the wheels feel great. You know, the right amount of stick, the right amount of slide. Um, I never felt like I was going to lose control. Never felt slow, at <laughs> fast. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that 80 is probably the right call for most free skating. You know, I haven't skated 80 since the Kaiser Arrows and that wheelbase is so short. This is a lot longer, it's like 250 something. So it's a lot longer than the 243 of the Kaiser Arrows. I like it. Um, I do feel as though I need to get used to skating 80s. You know, I, I'm, for me an 80 feels the most like a hockey skate. So, you know, the amount of power that I put into my stride is the amount of power that I'll get out of the stride versus like a 72 or, you know, something smaller where you skate as hard as you can and it feels like you're not skating very fast. And then there's like the hundreds and up where you skate just a little bit and you just coast. This is like the perfect balance between skating hard and coasting. It's gonna take a little getting used to though. Anyway, uh, if you're interested, uh, these 80s uh, are gonna go on pre-order next week. I'm placing the order for them on Monday, uh, along with the 50, 50, 58 millimeter wheels. They will be here uh, probably the first week of May, depending on how quickly production gets done. So if you're interested, uh, 80 millimeter cos uh, compass, almost said Cosmo, not Cosmo, 80 millimeter compass wheels uh, will be on pre-order uh, Friday of next week. And uh, I should have plenty, so don't stress. You can't get there Friday at midnight. Um, but um, yeah, uh, should be in in May. And uh, I'm going to skate this a little bit longer. I, I, might, uh, I might try other cities. You know, this um, had a lot more bricks than I remember. And there was a lot of bumpiness. But the hills weren't a problem, you know, like they are at Chapel Hill. Anyway, see you guys next week.